Hey there, today we're going to make tea tree foot soak in these cute little test tubes that I got on Amazon. Now, this one is so easy that you might be like, why in the world is Amy teaching me how to make this? It's way too easy, but this is a great item to give as gifts. These are super easy. You can make a ton and give them as gifts or give them to your kids' teachers. I actually made like 50 of these one time and passed them out at a craft fair um, just to kind of get the word out about what I was trying to do with essential oils. And so it's a great way, an inexpensive way to gift give or to even share about your love for essential oils. So you just need these little test tubes. Again, I got them on Amazon. They are plastic, so you don't have to worry about dropping them. They're not gonna break. They're a great size for the foot soaks, and I will leave a link in the description of this video when I get done. So you just need those, and you need Epsom salt, and then you need tea tree essential oil, which is also called Melaleuca oil. And um, if you don't know, tea tree is an awesome oil for cleansing. So it has amazing cleansing properties. It's wonderful for the skin, especially the skin on the face in terms of its cleansing properties. And it's also great for the feet for cleansing. So maybe sometimes you might wanna put tea tree on your feet after you go get a pedicure, if you're worried about it being clean there, or um, really any time that you want to cleanse the skin on your feet, tea tree is a great one. So this is a great soak for the skin on the feet, for your toenails, for all of that. And it is so, so easy to make. And if you remember from my video the other day, Epsom salt is calming as well. So you're gonna get the calming from the magnesium and the Epsom salt, and you're gonna get the cleansing from the tea tree. So super easy. All you do is you fill up the test tube halfway with Epsom salt. And I know you can't see it, but I'm doing this over the bowl so it doesn't make a mess. It doesn't matter if it's more than halfway. You basically just need to have enough room where you can shake this and get the tea tree to go all throughout the Epsom salt. You just need two drops of tea tree in this because it's such a small amount. So just two drops of tea tree. Go ahead and put the lid back on and shake it. And that's just gonna disperse the tea tree so that way when you put it in the water, it's gonna go ahead and mixed with the water instead of floating on top. And then once it's mixed in, then you just fill it up the rest of the way with more Epsom salt. And you don't have to worry about leaving room for this to shake again because you've already shaken it through most of it. And that's all that you do. And this is the tea tree foot soak now. So now you just get a basin full of water. Um, I like to use those rectangular basins of water for like dishes and fill it with warm water, fill it with this, shake it or not shake it around stir it around a little bit with your feet or with your hands and then soak for like 20 minutes and this is going to be great again like i said for the skin on your feet and for your toes toenails especially and it's that easy and if you don't like tea tree or you don't want to have a cleansing oil if you want to have a relaxing oil or something like that then you could choose peace and calming you could choose lavender anything like that but it's super super easy this will cost you less than a dollar to make to give away probably closer to 50 cents and so it's a great inexpensive gift or a nice little add-on to a little pampering basket for christmas time so i hope you give it a try and i hope your feet feel amazing afterward have a great day bye